Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. I don't know who needs to hear it, but astrology is not a belief system. You don't believe in astrology. It doesn't require belief. Saying that astrology is a belief system is like saying that you believe that clocks tell time. Like, like yeah, they do. The, the planets mirror what's happening on earth and within ourselves it's just it just is you don't have to believe it it just it is <laughs> astrology is reflective we can use what's happening in the cosmos to look deeper inside of ourselves and at the world around us astrology isn't causal mercury retrograde doesn't make anything happen astrology doesn't control your life you aren't the way you are because you have an aquarius moon you are the way you are and also the moon was in aquarius when you were born think of it like a mirror the mirror doesn't create what you look like it just shows you what you look like clocks don't make time move they just show us what time it is astrology doesn't make things happen it just shows us what's happening it's just another tool if it's not a belief system how can i easily say i don't believe in astrology yes i do believe a clock will show the time but i will never believe that i am who i am because some planet was doing some stuff no i am who i am and i am what i am because of every single step that i took until up to this point my entire personality was not given to me by some planet or by the day i was born there are million other people that was born in the same day with me at the same time at the same exact second and we do have different personalities Personality. Someone said it best in the comments at some point. If some planet influences who you are based on the day you were born, how can twins be so different? Outside clocks showing time, here's something else I truly believe. You are a complete cuckoo. I'm not even kidding. A man could be so obsessed with you in the minute, the second you show a slight bit, a teeny bit of interest, they want nothing to do with you anymore. Maybe he wasn't so obsessed with you after all. Or maybe he got to know you better, or maybe he got some clarity after. What is the etiquette for hitting on someone at the gym? I've deleted the apps and I've been reading dating advice about how to meet people in real life. And one of the pieces of advice was go to the same place all the time and get to know the regulars. And these locations should be places in which you will find like-minded individuals. Now there is someone at the gym who I see all the time who I really would like to ask out for coffee and I know he will never approach me because men have been justifiably conditioned to not approach women at the gym, which I appreciate. Sometimes if they're doing it in a really creepy way, it makes you feel unsafe. If anyone approached me respectfully, I'm totally fine. So it's kind of up to me to approach him. The only problem is he's constantly sprinting on the treadmill every time I see him, so it's not like I can approach him between sets. And we never leave or arrive at the same time, so it's not like I can be like, hey, what's up, hello, sir? Is it just a situation in which I like completely leave this alone and don't interrupt this man while he's uh, running 100 miles per hour? What do you think? I think you can't say justifiably conditioned to not approach you at the gym and then go on to say if they approach you respectfully, you'll be okay with that. I also think a lot of men go to gym to mind their own business, as probably he does because he haven't even noticed you. And I think you should maybe also mind your own business while you're at the gym and stop checking guys out. <laughs> it's creepy. If you want your new man or old man or whatever man to buy you that dress, tell him that you want to go on a date and you are so excited for Friday, but you need an outfit. And if your dress is $200, make sure you tell him that it's $600. The extra is for your hair, nails, and lashes, of course. And then see if he gives it to you. If he does, then he gets to see you again and you guys can enjoy your pretty little date on Friday. If he doesn't, wear that dress and then go out with someone else on Friday. And make sure you take lots of pictures. Good luck! You forgot to mention it may work if you do have a date with him on Friday. And I did say it may work as you're talking about old men, new men, any man. Uh, yeah, any man would say, who are you? Your old man will say, buy your own dress. And your new man would say, probably, I don't think I can make it this Friday. I'll let you know. Get ready with me as I talk about guys I would never date or never date again. This is part two. I already posted part one, so go watch that if you haven't. A guy I would never ever date is someone that still uses Snapchat. If he is above 20 years old and he is still using Snapchat to contact you, run. Don't walk. Run immediately in the other direction. Got it. But let's try to keep this decent because short is out of the question anyway because you do like to hear yourself talk.
<laughs> Next, a guy that wears dangly earrings. Um, any earrings are going to be severely questionable for me. Some guys pull them off, but I will definitely be like, oh, he has earrings. This one is very big for me. If he does not plan the first date, and if it's not a good first date. A guy that's excited to be with you and excited to date you is going to plan everything. And even if he doesn't think he's a romantic, a guy that's really, really into you is going to find his romantic side. <laughs> what, for you? No, I don't think so. But let's keep watching. Okay, so I preface with the lesser ones because I know the girls that didn't agree with those would already have clicked off the video by now. Okay, so I know most girls would agree with me in saying that, like, any mama's boy, you can't date a mama's boy. Like, maybe you could, but you're going to run into problems with it forever. Like, it's never going to go away. So going hand in hand with that, I would never date someone whose mom is not like me. Not everyone's going to understand that, but let me explain. This definitely only applies to girls that are a little more high maintenance. And that is all I have for today. <laughs> okay, bye. I have no idea how you did it, but I appreciate the effort. You managed to look worse with makeup on and your hair done than before. Shout out to you. Now, I know this was long, but hopefully you guys didn't find it as boring as I did. I don't even need to try to keep this short because all I have to say is you're talking about the guys that you would never date. But then you're talking about you need their mother to be high maintenance. You're not just blonde, you're blonde blonde. Or maybe I missed the bigger picture and you first meet their mothers and then you go with them on a date. Here's something men need to understand about women over 50. We don't care about you. We don't need you. We don't want you. In fact, we really don't want you. Oh, stop it. You're gonna make me cry. I'm already heartbroken. Please don't just stop. I woke up just this morning in a full panic mode thinking to myself, what will I ever do if some woman I don't want won't want me? I don't even know or understand where do you got all the I don't want, I don't need, I don't whatever. This is the comment she responded to. Having meltdowns in the video every time someone mocks you shows no emotional intelligence or genuine peace of mind. That your quote unquote best life? How did you get from that to I don't want, I don't need men. No one said anything about that. But to be fair, you just proved that guy's point. He wasn't even mocking you and you made a video having a meltdown. I cannot speak for all women, but I can speak for myself and my preferences and how you will know if I am attracted to you. Don't take this too literally. Do not apply this to all women. Also, on the topic of catcalling, don't catcall. It's not attractive. It makes you unattractive. That video was rage bait. Obviously, nobody should be catcalling, even if you are hot. Okay, it autom it, if you are catcalling, a woman is typically avoiding you, and that should be the first sign that you are not attractive to her. Duh. But anyways, outside of the realm of catcalling, to know if I specifically am attracted to you, it's going to be all in the eyes. I typically see you before you see me see you for the first time. Does that make sense? So technically... Like before our first eye contact, I've already looked at you and already determined if you are attractive to me. And if I like what I see, I'm going to make an effort to make eye contact with you again. So it's going to be like this. I'm going to check you out, maybe smirk and look away. Like 99% of everyone else. Got it. I'm going to read a comment that the guy left and I'm going to try to respond to him. But like, how do we know if we're attractive to girls? You know, usually I don't have a problem with anyone asking this question. You don't have that much experience, that's fine. But maybe check that person that you're asking that question first. She has two OF accounts. One free, one VIP. Obviously, if you join the VIP, you're going to be more attractive. Not really, you're still going to be just a wallet, but maybe she'll lie to you better. Unless she has a promoter company behind her and then you'll talk to some guy pretending to be her and he'll tell you how attractive you are you want to find a more honest answer to that question ask your friends you don't have any develop a group of friends share ideas put yourself out there and you're gonna become more experienced once you do you'll know how to read the room better and you'll know when a girl is attracted to you every broke i knew wanted options and also wanted to leave nothing on the table why because they have no standards. They'll take whatever they can get. 
I know this because I'm a psychic for billionaires, multimillionaires. Ligiora, what? Let me ask you this then. Were you a psychic for them before they got rich or after they got rich? Because if it's before, you know, you're the only reason that they made money. Anyway, outside of the trust me bro moment, she claims that being broke is a mindset. Because uh, of course it is. And men who have this mindset only sleep with ugly women. <laughs> because uh, reasons. I'm at a place in my life where I promise you I'm not dealing with anything I don't have to. I'm leaving, I'm unfriending, I'm blocking, I'm removing myself or people from situations that make me feel as though I am not respected or valued. <laughs> I have zero problem with that. In fact, let me help you out. Poof, see? It's just like magic. And this is gonna be the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.